All right, guys, so we're gonna take a look at this product that was sent to me by Rabe. This is a mini fluid head tripod. Let's unbox this thing and see exactly what we're getting in the box. Let's take a look at it. All right, guys, so here's our box. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of features built into this little uh, fluid head tripod. You know, it gives us some basic information about the setup, the design, some of the feature sets of the tripod itself. Of course, we're gonna just open the box and see exactly what it can what it can do. It does have a quick release plate. I'm very excited about that. I do like the way that the uh, Arca Switch uh, quick release plate is designed. So let's just open this up and see exactly what we get in the box. So we're greeted with this little manual here. So this is gonna give us just some basic information on how to use the little fluid head tripod, how to benefit you know, from the quick release plate, how to connect it to a camera, as well as how to connect it to the fluid head itself and some other features related to it. And then you have a little bit more information here on the back as to uh, the 360 spin panning capabilities of the fluid head and the tilt capabilities. So you have a 75 degree negative tilt and you have a 90 degree positive tilt. We'll talk about that when we get to it. Here is our little mini fluid head tripod, okay? I do like the feel of this. This feels really nice in the hands. Now the handle is fixed to one side, so you're not gonna be able to change that. Like some of the other fluid heads where you can switch it from you know left hand to right hand, you're not gonna be able to do that. You do have a control here for the panning. You also have a, a meter here, and that's gonna be, for instance, if you're doing some type of panoramic type of shots, as you guys can see here, it has the branding from Robbie here on here. Now to release the quick release plate, Normally you would press this little button in, but first you have to release it here, and then you'll be able to press this button in, and then this, let's get it completely loose, and then this just pops out like that. So this has like this little mechanism here that just uh, locks in on the side of the plate itself. So when you wanna put it back in, you just drop it in like that. Now this has these little locking pins on the top and on the bottom, and that's gonna prevent, once you put it in for it accidentally, you know, your camera coming out of this, you can also connect uh, or control your panning as well as your tilting. Now this can work with any type of tripod of any size, but we're just gonna pick something really small and we're just gonna test it with that. All right, so let's set this here. Okay guys, so we're just gonna use these basic legs here. This should work. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna screw this on just like that. Now these legs do not come with this little tripod, but I'm just showing you guys this is an example. If you wanted to set this up maybe as a tabletop tripod. So now as you see here, we can pan with it and we can adjust that to free it up to see how, let's get that on there tight. So we can pan back and forth and then we can also tilt. So we're gonna unlock that so we can tilt this forward 90 degrees and we can tilt this back like a negative 75 degrees. You now what's nice about this quick release plate, as you guys can see here, you could either use like a key, you could use a coin, or you could use a screwdriver to tighten this down. But you also have this little, um, this little handle that comes up, and then you can use that to tighten this down onto your camera base. So really nice setup. The uh, padding here is very robust. So very simple to use. I think this is gonna be perfect for a lot of people getting started. So like you see, it just, it just slots back in, so you could easily press this and it comes out like so, and then you push it back in and it goes back in. So again, we can just press this button and it's gonna free it up, it comes out, you can put it back in, it just drops in place. And then once it's in place, it's not going to come out. And then of course, you have the ability to control and lock it down from this little knob here. So you're just gonna tighten this down like so, and that's gonna prevent this from moving at all, and it's just gonna be rock sil solid for you. All right, guys, so this is the Rabe Mini. All right, so hopefully this video has been helpful to someone who's thinking about purchasing a mini tripod. 